It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the New York Giants and the Washington Commanders. All that and more coming up next. We are approximately five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, Commander's Field in Landover, Maryland. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And off we go in our nation's capital. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position, beats you with his arm and his legs, and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. The slot man in motion right. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Well, they go play action. Daniels. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 25-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. 
So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Daniels looking to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. 14-yard line, second and 11. This to McLaurin out on the left side. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Now penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. To throw is Daniels. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler from three yards out and the commanders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon they gotta love that nine play drive results in six points that means they're doing the dictating that means that they've described how the game's going to go they're playing at their tempo at their pace if you're on the other side of the ball if you're playing defense defense is not methodical they've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. That time, a nine-play drive. And Austin Eckler capped it off with the touchdown reception. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Giants offense ready to go to work, and they'll do so behind Daniel Jones in his sixth season now out of Duke. And he's coming off an injury-shortened season where he played in six games, going one and five over that span with just three total touchdowns on the year. But the Giants have a lot of confidence in him. They didn't draft a quarterback this year, and they're looking for him to bounce back and prove that last year was an anomaly. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. Look at the big man rumble. And down to the 16-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. And normally when you think about huge field-flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver or that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Throwing Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Second and 10.
Now Jones. Throw caught by Hyatt on the slant. Five yards. Now it's third and five. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch. Not much yardage afterwards. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But they certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Singletary will take it in for the Giants' touchdown. But finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Five plays there on that drive, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And complete to Zach Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. He comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. No gain on the play there. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now Daniels. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in between range. And they'll go for it on fourth down. Daniel's going to throw for it. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way with a football. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Giants are going to get the football back. 
Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punt the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. All oh, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. to throw Jones now they set up the screen that's complete and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds a good pickup there 13 yards as they get closer for third down that's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down didn't quite get it to the marker but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call if you're the offensive coordinator you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long and a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Here's third and nine. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll look to throw now on first down. Again, it's Johnson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this. Back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. They'll look to throw again. Complete right side to Hyatt. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Throwing on second down. Jones, that one taken in by neighbors. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And everyone wants a dynamic receiver on the outside, and he may take it to a new level. Slot fade, one of his favorite routes when he played at LSU. And head coach Brian Dayball, he loves the competitiveness that Neighbors brings to the table. They run here with Singletary, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. These two teams all tied after one.
Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. As they come up now, second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The commander's defense holds, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Gano's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Washington offense set to take over. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Got a man. It's Deontay Brown complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. This second and four. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. Nice run by Eckler, and he continues to be a versatile weapon at this stage of his career, producing over 1,000 all-purpose yards for the third consecutive year last season. That's to McCaffrey complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and nine. Throwing now is Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 21. A gain there of 21 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Here's Daniels. That escapes the sack. Shedding the tackler that gives him some room. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Jaden Daniels. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders have retaken the lead. 
That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brain waves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. York now for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. A drive that time of six plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Giants ready to come out now. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Back to throw. Jones. He'll get this out wide to Singletary, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Dante Fowler, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, this defense has to feel good because they've now brought down one of the faster quarterbacks in the game multiple times. That defensive unit, they're letting us all know they get paid too. They're no slouches themselves. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Yeah, they'll be set up in great starting field position here as that's out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Working out of the gun, Daniels. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. 
Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. To the air goes Daniels. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Daniels from the gun on third down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. They'll look to throw here on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That second down play nets a minus four. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. And this offense on third down today, they've been good three for four thus far. This will be third and 19. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Cade York on now for the field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. 
A give up the middle to Singletary. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. That's complete. It's neighbors. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Operating from the gun. Jones. High and able to make the catch downfield. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Back to throw again. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for the Commanders' touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. The York on now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Looking to throw. Jones. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for the Commander's touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. New York now for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones set to take over again. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Give them a gain of five on the completion at its second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Singletary, they'll go up the middle, and he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. The Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Crowder now to return. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. 
As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Giants' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback, even a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle but they allow the conversion. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Throwing Jones. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go to the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. Now a second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 
four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 41-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give them 12 yards that time. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his right. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. An injury stoppage, and it looks like, yeah, it's the quarterback, Daniel Jones, receiving some assistance. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Options galore here, second and a few inches. First throw now for the backup lock. That's caught downfield by neighbors. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On the handoff, it's Singletary. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. It's a gain of seven on the ground. Second down coming up. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Now second and three. Now Locke on the bootleg. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. Shotgun snap to lock. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Thurl, that got in there to bring him down. And on second and goal, they decide to throw it again. And this result is even worse. They take a sack. On first down, it was simply an incomplete pass. Not a good first two plays, beginning with first and goal. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Locke working out of the gun. This is caught. It's Robinson with a Giants touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Gano now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out.
After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. Now he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I think that was a pretty good read right there. They caught him in zone defense and went to the hitch. And because they're in zone, that creates a natural space between the defenders and the receiver, able to get it to him quickly and let him get upfield. They go play action. Daniels. Open man is Noah Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Up the middle with Eckler. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Daniels looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Here's Daniels. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now Daniels. His throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. To throw is Daniels. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Brian Burns picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Here's Tressway now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. 
And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Block off a of play action. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Locke. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. A big completion there against double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before. <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play, and that's exactly what he did. Locke looks to throw it again. He has high it over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now an option play on second down. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That time a pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll make it second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. On the give, this is Singletary. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Locke to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Giants! Jalen Hyatt from six yards away and the Giants are back within a score well you know you can't get all the points back at once but baby steps a good start a start that was sorely needed because this team looked like they might be out of this one but getting a touchdown getting back into it gives them hope as they move forward Gano for the extra point And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Jalen Hyatt with a touchdown catch to end the drive. Go. 
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Throwing now is Daniels. That's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. To the air goes Daniels. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Bobby Okereke running in and bringing him down. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Here now a third down and eight. Operating from the gun, Daniels slings this deep from McLaurin. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that will move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Commander's Field. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. 
On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here's a second and eight. To throw it is locked. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and eight. They look to throw. It's locked. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it'll be fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. Now it's Crowder. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Washington ready to try again on offense. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They started on the ground with Eckler. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Back to throw. Daniels. That's caught by Senate. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Off the play fake, Daniels. On the catch, it's Crowder. They'll give him four yards there. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. After the encroachment penalty, here's second and five. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it can be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense and receiver Malik Neighbors headed on the field. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Now Locke. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Here's third and ten. Shotgun snap to lock. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations teams get the ball back and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover running on first down Eckler give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down well that's a pretty good drive starter right there and I don't know partner if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now they may just want to run their regular offense in plus territory and, and as an offensive coordinator you don't want your team to go into a shell do you no you really don't because as soon as you take your foot off the gas it's real hard to put it back on and mash it because once everyone's emotions come down hard to start them up again so I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here Operating from the gun, Daniels being chased out left. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one and the decision is what is important here he has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go Eckler is not going to get in in fact he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three it's a loss of two there bringing up second down and that loss of yards there is not just on him it's on the guys blocking for him I mean they're supposed to create some type of space or at least get a stalemate they end up letting them through and they ended up tackling him for a loss They'll send a receiver in motion left. 
And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he is into the end zone for a Commander's touchdown from three yards out. And the Commanders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is locked. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Here's second and ten. Block now to throw. Johnson with a completion over the middle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Locke. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. 
But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. And the Washington offense heading out. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another? And especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those <laughs> were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop him. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.